Imagine if you were told that, after all, you originated in the cosmos of space? For long scientists have been on an uninterrupted vicious quest to reach to the bottom of finding out the origin of this universe. From studying the compositions of other planets in the solar system to even of the moon, experts are now onto asteroids. According to NASA scientists, the huge rocky asteroids floating in space, encompasses the origin of the universe. And to gain a better understanding, scientists have invented a spacecraft called OSIRIS-RX. Besides orbiting the asteroids that pose a threat to Earth, it keeps an eye on them, literally, and also collects samples from there. And recently it collected samples from a carbon-rich asteroid Bennu which is going to be passing Earth in the near future. What mysteries about the origin of life will this sample help unravel? Our space is an oasis of free-floating rocky fragments that are leftovers from the formation of our solar system. These rocks, called asteroids, comprise chemical elements and orbit the Sun in a belt between Mars and Jupiter. During their orbiting journey, asteroids start to inch closer to planets due to gravitational pull, increasing their chances of crashing. Usually large in shape and size, the asteroid descending from space with a lightning-fast speed collides into planets with massive impact. Such asteroids, nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets that allows them to enter an orbit in Earth's neighborhood, are called near-Earth objects also known as NEOs. A classic example of an asteroid blasting into Earth is the Chicxulub impactor, responsible for wiping out the existence of dinosaurs from Earth. In fact, just a decade ago an asteroid almost the size of a tennis court crashed into Earth's atmosphere in Chelyabinsk, Russia. The impact led to shattered windows all over the city injuring around 1500 people. To avoid future destruction caused due to the asteroids, NASA scientists built a spacecraft to track and understand their nature and course. The OSIRIS-RX is the first U.S. mission to collect a sample from an asteroid. The spacecraft was launched in 2016 to travel to a near-Earth asteroid named Bennu landing on it in 2018. The OSIRIS-RX dropped off the sample into the Utah desert in September 2023, but didn't land. The Astromaterials Curation Team at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston collected 2.48 ounces of asteroid material from the sample hardware even before removing the lid. The team then removed two stubborn fasteners. Post that, they will be removing the round metal collar and transfer the remaining sample from the touch and go sample acquisition mechanism, also known as TAGSIM, head into pie wedge sample trays. The remaining material includes dust and rocks up to about 0.4 inch in size. NASA expected the asteroid material collection of 2.12 ounces but surpassed it with 2.48 ounces. While the team will be preserving 75% of the sample for future scientists, the remaining 25% will be studied currently. This will help scientists gather information for future robotic and human missions, including those with NASA's Space Launch System to deep space destinations. The study will further help NASA determine Bennu's physical and chemical properties, in case of an impact mitigation mission. Bennu is one of the most potentially hazardous asteroids with a high probability of impacting the Earth late in the 22nd century, around the year 2182. It is about one-third of a mile wide at its equator. It is touted to be an ancient relic of our solar system's early days, containing more than 4.5 billion years of history. According to scientists, Bennu must be a broken chip of a much larger carbon-rich asteroid about 700 million to 2 billion years ago. It is likely to have formed in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and has since then drifted closer to Earth. But the million-dollar question that is begging to be answered is proof of the origin of life. According to Salve Gervine, mission manager for OSIRIS-RX at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, 
this carbonaceous asteroid may also contain the molecular precursors to the origin of life and the Earth's oceans. How is that you would ask? That is because the composition of Bennu is so old that it is likely to contain organic molecules similar to those that could have been involved with the start of life on Earth. The study to unearth the characteristics of Bennu and gain some knowledge of the origin of life, is ongoing. But it will take scientists many more years to assemble concrete proof. While that happens, Imagine if you were to discover that after all your body is a cosmic amalgamation of dust and chemicals? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Lab360 for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.